What's up guys? Welcome back to All Wings Everything. I am your cook Spinelli. I am the self-proclaimed wing king and the prince and ruler of all lemon pepper wings. Now if you know somebody who says that they know how to cook lemon pepper wings and they not using my recipe, I want you to say two words to them. Boy, stop. That's it. Click that link above me and I'm going to show you guys how to make the best lemon pepper wings on the planet. Now today's video I'm going to show you how to make mojito rum wings. Now, you guys already know how I feel about cooking with alcohol. I love to make uh, sauces with alcohol. It just tastes so good. Plus, you kill two birds with one stone. You know what I'm saying? So, if you're ready for this delicious recipe, I hope you're in your kitchen. I'm already in mine, so let's go. All right guys, so here are the ingredients we're gonna use for today's recipe. We have our Publix Green Wash Chicken, some cumin, we're gonna use lime, minced garlic, black pepper, some orange juice, olive oil, kosher salt, mint, look at that Bacardi, you can't make a mojito without a little rum. Now you don't have to use the rum, but of course, I'm gonna use rum, because you can't make a mojito without rum. And this is not a non-alcoholic um, uh, wing dish, <laughs> but you can make it that way. We got diced onions, oregano leaves, and we have some fresh cilantro. So these are the ingredients we're going to use for this recipe. So man, I'm anxious. Let's get started. All right, guys. So I've already cut and cleaned our chicken and measured out our ingredients. So right here, what I have, I have a cup of orange juice, fourth of a cup of lime juice, two tablespoons of minced garlic, one tablespoon of cilantro, one tablespoon of um, chopped mint, an eighth of a cup of uh, rum. You don't have to use the rum, remember guys, or you can use a little bit less, it depends on, do it to your desire. Uh, teaspoon, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of pepper, a fourth of a cup of olive oil, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of cumin, and a fourth of a cup of uh, chopped onion. So these are the ingredients we're going to use to prepare our marinade. So let's go ahead and move to the next step. I hope you guys are excited because I am. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to um, start by mixing uh, these ingredients here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our um, garlic into the dish with the orange juice. Next, let's add our chopped onions and let's do our lime juice and do our rum. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to give, just give it a quick mix to combine these ingredients. All right, take a look at that. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to heat our olive oil up in this uh, saucepan and we want to you know um, make sure it gets as hot as possible where it's, it's where you can see the smoke coming out just a little bit and then once you do that you want to add your um, we're gonna add this mixture this orange juice mixture to the to the saucepan with the oil as you can see, it's starting to bubble a little bit. You don't want to get it too hot, so when you pour it into the pan, that it starts to splash. So let's let's start and see if we can put a little bit there. You go. All right. So now we're gonna do a little bit at a time. There you go. All right. So what we want to do is we want this to cook for about five minutes until the um, the onions and the garlic kind of softens. As you can see guys, it's starting to come to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it down and I'm gonna let it simmer for the remaining, maybe um, the remaining three minutes. Within the five minutes, you wanna kind of continue to stir it. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to start adding the remaining of our seasoning. So I'm gonna start here with the cumin, oregano, salt, pepper, the cilantro, and 
the mints. I mean the mint. Okay. And we're gonna give this a good mix. And we're just gonna let this cook for about one or two minutes. Kind of cook the, the spices and the ingredients, the spices in to the the orange juice mixture. All right. So now this is done. Let me turn this off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, place, I'm going to pour this into my blender. There we go. So this is what we have right here. All right. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Let me go grab the uh, rest of my blender and we're going to get this thing blended up. All right, guys. So I've already placed uh, our mixture into our blender. But you want to let it cool down just a little bit uh, before you start trying to blend it. You can use a food processor also. Food processors, you don't really have to wait till it, uh, it, um, it cools off a little bit. But in a blender, you do because that hot air that comes, you know, when, when you blend something that's hot, all that steam comes up and it's just going to make a big mess. So I let it cool down just for a little bit and then I'm going to blend it. But I, you don't want to have, you don't want to cool it completely, but just not. You don't want where it's just coming off the um, your, your stove and it's just piping hot because if you try to blend it, that steam is going to push up through that um, the top of your blender and it's going to spill everywhere. I've done that before, trust me. Unless you got one of those blenders where you can just lock the top down. This here is uh, it's not one of those. So, All right, guys, so I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, so I'm going to start blending this thing right now. We're going to give it a couple pulses. So now this is done. There you go. All right. So this is what we have. All right. So what I'm going to do now, sit that right there, take a bowl, and I'm just going to pour this into a bowl. And what I want to do is I want this to sit, and I want this to come to room temperature before I pour it on my wings. So you want to make sure that comes to room temperature before you pour it on your wings. Th again, guys, this is how it looks. All right, so maybe about 20, 30 minutes and we'll be right back. All right, so now that our sauce has cooled off, so what I'm gonna do now is have, I put our chicken in a Ziploc bag. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pour this sauce or this marinade over our chicken like that that and we're just gonna get all the air out of it close it um, you know what I want to do guys I'm I, it's just me I'm just gonna add that's because I like I'm gonna add a little bit more of this rum in there gotta do it you don't have to do that but I'm gonna do it I like uh, when my meats are marinated in alcohol it just gives it a lot of gives it some display it's not that much it's not gonna you know, so guys, don't be worrying about if it's too much. Where can you feed, you know, give it to kids? Of course, the alcohol is going to cook out of it once you start it. The alcohol um, content is going to cook out of it, but you still have that flavor. So you don't have to worry about that. So right here, I'm going to let this marinate for about, uh, you, can, you can let it marinate for a minimum of four hours up to overnight. It's your choice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it marinate for about four hours and we'll be right back. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to, we've lined our um, baking sheet up with aluminum foil. This is for easy cleanup. And we're also going to spray our grates with cooking spray. And this helps keep, well, keeps the chicken from sticking to the grates. I highly recommend you do this. I'm telling you it's for easy cleanup with aluminum foil. Just pour aluminum foil up. Throw it away and you're good and then just rinse off your pan and the uh, garlic butter I mean the cooking spray is for you to um, make sure your chicken doesn't stick to your pan when you're trying to flip it over and it pulls it apart so all right so what we're gonna do now we do have our chicken pieces they fully marinate I let them marinate for about uh, I let these in here for about six hours if you want to take a look at that um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull them out this marinade. They smell real good. Take a look at this. Look at that. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put them on this grate and we're going to leave them skin side down. 
half an inch to an inch apart. Try not to overcrowd your pan. You want to make sure you want to give these chicken pieces room to breathe. You know what I'm saying? Don't you know? Just like you don't like people invading your space, these chicken wings don't like you invading their personal space either while they're cooking. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you give these chicken wings a little room to breathe. All right, guys, these are gonna come out so so amazing. All right, so now. We have all our chicken pieces onto our pan. So what we're gonna do next is I'm going to paste these into the oven. I'm gonna put them in there on um, 400 degrees for about 50 minutes. I'm gonna turn them over after 25 minutes and then I'm allow them to finish cooking on the other side for the remaining 20 minutes. But again, guys, as you get down to the, in the stretch of the, cook, the cooking time, you may want to just check your chicken pieces because depending on how hot your stove gets, you may need to you may need to put them in there for 40 minutes or 45 minutes. I just do mine this way because I know the temperature of my stove. I know how well not the temperature. I know how hot my stove gets and I know how I cooked my chicken. And I also know how I like my chicken. I like mine's extra crispy. Some people don't like their chicken extra crispy. People tell me sometimes in the comments, oh, you leave your chicken in there too long. No, I leave my chicken in there the time that I want my chicken in there. If you want to leave your chicken in there less time, then you go ahead and do that. But my chicken stays in there the amount of time I want it in there. So guys, feel free to adjust it as you see fit. But most of the time, you want to keep your chicken in there at least 40 minutes, especially if you got it at about 400 degrees, 30 to 4, 35 to 40 minutes. But I keep mine in there for about 50 minutes. So I'll see you guys in about 25 minutes. All right, guys, so what we're going to do now is we're going to prepare some mojito butter sauce. And what we're going to use is we're going to use four tablespoons of butter. And we're going to let that melt down just a little bit before we add the rest of our ingredients. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add two tablespoons of uh, mint, chopped mint. I'm going to add one tablespoon of rum. I'm going to add a tablespoon of maple syrup. And I'm going to add a tablespoon of sugar. And guys, we're going to give this a good mix. A good mix. And then we're just going to bring it down, the temperature down, and let it simmer. All right, and we're going to let this thing simmer for about about three minutes, three to five minutes. Guys, what I did too, I just I just tasted a little bit of this and I decided to add another tablespoon of rum to mine. I wanted to have a little that that alcohol taste to it. So if you if you, you don't have to do this, but if I want mine to have that alcohol mojito taste to it, so I add just a little bit. It's not really that strong. I recommend you add another tablespoon, another tea, another tablespoon to it. I'm sorry, just to give it that um, that flavor. Now add the tea, add the tablespoon first, and then taste it and see if it's to your liking, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Then add, and if you want to, just slowly add a little bit more. Like I said, you don't want your wings taking like alcohol, but you want to have that mojito and that mint flavor to come out of those wings. All right, because that's, I mean, they are mojito wings, so, you know, you wanted to have that flavor. So, um, I'm going to let this sit for another uh, minute or so, simmer for another minute or so, and then we'll be back. All right, so now the um, this mojito butter sauce is ready. I'm going to put it inside a empty bowl. Should have had this ready already. All right, so I'm gonna put this inside this bowl. Let's turn this off. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reserve this until the wings are done. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to turn these chicken pieces over um, and allow them to finish cooking on the other side. Guys, that's why I recommend you get one of these these pans with the racks on it. They're just, you know, to bake your, to do your wings. But that way you could cook your chicken evenly on both sides. 
All right, so we're gonna put these back in here for the remaining 25 minutes, and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so now our wings are done. Let's take a look at this. We're gonna bring these things over here onto the counter. Guys, look at that. This is what I'm talking about. How you guys like that color on that? All right. So let's go ahead and finish this recipe up. All right, so now we're gonna remove these chicken pieces and add them to a clean plate because this is all we're gonna do. We're not, not gonna do any shaky bakey. I mean, you can do a little shaky bakey if you want to with that butter sauce. But what I wanna do with this butter sauce is I want to pour it over the top of the wings. Since it marinated in this chicken, I mean it marinated into the um, the mojito rum sauce, I wanna be able to taste the flavor from that also. Not just uh, the butter sauce overpowering it. So that's what I'm gonna do. You can do a shaky baggy, no problem with that. But this is how I want to do mine. Guys, this looks amazing. Take a look at that. Look at that. Looks great. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to take that butter sauce and I'm going to just spoon me a little of that butter sauce over the top of these wings. Look at that. Look at that mojito butter sauce. Look, this is a, this is what you want, guys. Take a look at that. Get it. So you just you don't want to shake it in there. You could just get enough of that sauce over there. Oh man, looks good. Let's take a look. Let me bring it a little bit closer. Look at that, guys. All right. So let's finalize this recipe. And there you have it, guys. Mojito rum wings. Let me know what you guys think about this. Doesn't this look delicious? With that mojito butter sauce. Guys, take a look at this. Have you seen anything more beautiful than this? I'm, I'm ready to eat right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video, guys. Now, the measurements and the ingredients are in the video description below. So go ahead and check it out. Also, the links, if you don't have any of these items, you can buy from the links that's in the video description below from Amazon. Guys, this really helps out the channel when you purchase from those links. So if you want to support me, that is a way that you can do it. Also, check out that All Wings Everything merch. Pick up your All Wings Everything t-shirt. And guys, if it's your first time here and you like good wing recipes, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and go ahead and like the video. I need everybody who's watching this video to like it. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. And that's all I have for today. Your boy, Spinelli, all wings, everything, the self-proclaimed wing king, and I am out. Peace.